Now, drawing circuits and understanding what things represent is really important when it comes to looking at GCSE electricity. We've got some of the common uh, kind of circuit symbols here that you should be familiar with, a lot of them from before you did your GCSEs. Um, this one here for an LED, sometimes you have a circle around it, sometimes you don't. Um, but what this is really showing is that there's light being emitted, and that's very different to a light-dependent resistor where we have arrows coming into that component. Um, now, most of the time, especially if you've got the time to do it, you should use a pencil and a ruler so that you've got some nice, neat diagrams. And if you're using a pencil, you can rub things out if you make a mistake. But for these worksheets here, I just did it uh, freehand, a bit like you'd be doing if you're in an exam where you don't have much time and you're drawing a circuit to help you answer some questions. So we've got a bit about the difference between series and parallel circuits, and there's loads more questions coming up about that. Um, the important thing to remember is that an ammeter is always connected in series, but a voltmeter must be connected in parallel. And that's going to become quite apparent as we do more questions on these worksheets. So we've got a couple of different circuits. That's a series circuit, that's a parallel one there. To be honest, it doesn't matter which order you put things in, it doesn't matter where you put the switch, uh, but this one here just shows we've got an open switch, the lamp or the filament bulb, and also the resistor. Again, this one here, um, again, we've got a parallel circuit with three different loops, and this is just a way to show all of these different uh, bits of equipment that you might have a chance to get hands on with when you're making circuits at school. And finally, there's a few mistakes with this one. So that's a symbol for a cell, not a battery, uh, even though it's labeled battery above it. Uh, the voltmeter should be in parallel and this ammeter should be in series. Um, the lamp should have the connection going across it. So we don't want to leave gaps in our circuits. And again, just by convention, we tend to draw things with straight lines, like in the diagrams up here, rather than curly lines like down there. So just a quick introduction to get you started with drawing circuits.